The amendment to travel restrictions has caused some confusion. Some people are unable to access their COVID-19 certificates, yet their vaccination cards were never stamped. In some instances, the service portal provided by the Ministry of Health indicates that some of those who are fully vaccinated have only taken the first dose. Health officials say they are aware of these hitches. We have a lot of back data backlog, which is all not entered. So, of the 14 million records, we still have a backlog of about 6.6 .6 million. Meaning, if all those Ugandans wanted to travel today using their certificates, we are not able to do it. But the requirement from what the minister said is that those who have no vaccination certificate, the minister mentioned the certificate, will require to travel with a PCR negative result. So where does this leave travelers who are fully vaccinated and had found relief in not having to pay for PCR tests following the travel requirement adjustments but have been unable to access their certificates? Let's take it on case by case and we shall say, why don't you have the certificate? Did you really go to the system and fail to generate it? Some people just need to be guided. When Uganda started COVID-19 vaccination exercise in March last year, the Ministry of Health issued vaccination cards, but later introduced an online generated one. They say those who cannot access online certificates should contact the ministry. We encourage people uh, to check uh, for, their, uh, for their certificates before they travel because usually they have uh, challenges where someone is stuck on the airport and it's an emergency. So what, if, if you check, let's say, a week earlier for your certificate, then you're prepared. So the number to call is 0800-100-066. For those who can send an email at unepi at health.go.ug, uh, send a copy of your vaccination card and uh, whatever the challenge is, you want the team to help you with. More than 15 million people in Uganda have received at least one dose of the vaccine and more than 10 million people have been fully vaccinated. Nobat Atkunda, NTV Weekend Edition.